Good morning children. This video is for anyone who's working in the Thero group. Today we are going to be looking at the inverse operation again to use our knowledge of addition and subtraction to check your working to ensure accuracy. Before we do that, please make sure you do your Fluent 5 starter, which is on the screen now. So pause the video now and then answer your questions. And here are your answers. Just to note, that is 112 and 36. So, as I mentioned, we're looking at inverse operations again, and today we're going to be using reasoning and problem solving to answer our questions. First question, the table shows the students that study languages in an academy chain. Use addition and subtraction in a column format to find the missing values. So before we even start doing any calculations, we're gonna go back and remember what Mr. Taylor said yesterday. Whenever we're doing an addition calculation, the biggest number will always be at the end. So that in here, this row here, total, and this column here, total, is going to give us our biggest, is going to be where we need to add two numbers together. If the biggest number is given, so the total, and we've got a smaller value, we need to subtract. We're going to see by now, by looking at these four figures, we need to work them out. Now, we could do this in start with A. But we can't use A yet. And the reason why is because we haven't got, we need two figures in either a column or a row to help us out. Now, as you can see, we haven't got two figures in this column here. We've only got one and we've only got one there. But if we go to B, we can look at this column. Now, we've been given a total. When we get given the total, that means we are subtracting because we've been given the biggest number. I'm going to use the other number to subtract that answer. So, 49,902. This here, children, is going to be, when I do the inverse calc uh, the calculations, it's going to be, I'm going to be quite a whistle stop, so quite quick, because I know that this we've got four calculations to do, and we've got quite a lot of questions to do today. So two take away five, you cannot do. So we can't borrow from the zero, so we must turn, turn the nine into an eight, and we make 10. Two take away five we still can't do, so we turn that 10 into a nine. Now we turn, put that one in front of that two, so we've now got 12 take away five. Equals seven, nine take away two equals seven, eight take away two equals six, nine take away seven equals two, four take away two equals two. So B, and I'm gonna put our answers here, so A, B, so B equals, 22,677. See, and we put our answers there. Now, because we've been given the total for B, we can now work out A. Remember, when we've been given the total, we must, that is going to be our biggest number. So we're going to use a subtraction. So we now need to do 22,677 take away 12,153. 7 take away 4, uh, 3 is 4, 7 take away 5 is 2, 6 take away 1 is 5, 2 take away 2 is 0, 2 take away 1 equals what? 1. So answer to A, because we've done the B answer, take away this answer here, equals 10,524. Now we've got A, because it's there, and we've got Spanish. Now because we've got these two numbers, but we haven't got the total. When we need to find a total, we need to have two numbers to add. So we're going to take this answer and this number here and add them together. So 10,524 add 11,461. 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 6 is 8, 5 plus 4 is 9, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So D is worth 21,985. 
So we've been given, we've got all these three done. Now C, what we're gonna do, we're gonna change it up a little bit. I want you now, I'm gonna give you, I want you to see if you can work out the answer to C. Remember, we we'll use the females column here, so what, in a minute I want you to pause the video. You've been given a total, and you've been given a, sub, uh, a smaller number. So think, do I need to use the additional subtraction? When you've worked that out, pause the video, and then I want you to work it out. Then once you've worked it out, press play again, and see if you've got the same answer as me. So pause the video now. Okay, then children, let's see if you've got the same answer as me. So we've got 27,917, and we're doing takeaway, because we've been given the largest number, because it's in the total, 12,153. Let's see if you've got the same answer as Mr. Taylor. Seven takeaway three equals four. Cannot do one takeaway five. So we exchange from the eight, uh, from the nine, turn that into an eight. 11 takeaway five equals six. Eight takeaway one equals seven. Seven takeaway two equals five. And two takeaway one equals one. So we've got 15,764. If you've got that right, amazing. Well done, okay? So again, question four, it's, this one has taken us quite a lot, a long time to answer. But a question like this in a test would be worth at least three marks. So it's really worth getting this right because three marks in a test is worth a lot of answers, a lot, of, uh, a, a lot in your total amount of marks scored. Use, the, use inverse calculations to find A, B and C. So this here is quite a tricky question in terms of that the value of B here is the same value in here and there. Now, again, I can see the time. It's going to take a while, this question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify how you can start this question, but I'm not going to answer all of them. Now, to be able to choose, we need to choose a calculation that has two numbers. This one only has one. This one has two and this one has one. So we're going to use this one. Now, we've been given the largest number and we've been given a subtraction and this is our answer now we cannot we we must still do a subtraction this is where you've got to be careful in questions like this you must do a subtraction here because if we were to add these two numbers together this number here would be greater than that number and that wouldn't give us the right answer we've been given the greatest number so we need to do this number take away that number so i'm going to write that down now Forty-five thousand nine hundred and seventy-one take away make sure we line it up correctly 5723 so i'm just going to draw my line one take away th one take away three we cannot do because that three is greater than one so we exchange we take one from the seven turn that to a six and then we've got the one in front of the other one that makes 11 11 take away three equals eight Six take away two equals four. Nine take away seven equals two. Five take away five equals zero. And four take away nothing equals four. So the answer to B is 40,248. Now, when we've worked one out, this also means that this answer here is 40,248. And also B here is worth 40,248. Now, we can do this question here. We've got our largest number in subtraction, so we've got to do 49,584 take away a number equals 40,248. Because we've been given the greatest, the largest number already, we need to subtract this number from there. I'm not going to do this because, as I said, the video is quite long already. And here, nice and simple. We've got an easy calculation here, 40,248 add 412. And then that will give us the answer of C. So work, find out which one's got the two numbers in, and then the rest of the question is very simple. Last question here, spot the odd one out. Again, this is gonna be one there, you need to do three different questions, three different calculations to see which one is the odd one out. So we're going to start off by looking at the question. So we take the first one. So 54,000. We've been given the greatest number here. 
I'm going to take away that number. These two numbers, when combined, will make that answer there. So we're going to subtract. And as I've said, this video is going to be quite long, so I'm just going to whiz through the calculations. 3 take away 1 equals 2. Cannot do 6 take away 8. So 16 take away 8 now is 8. 6 take away 5 is 1. Can't do 4 take away 9. 14 take away 9 is 5. 4 take away 1 is 3. 35,182. Here we've been given a calculation again. So as we see here, we can look now, if we have a quick look at our questions, we've been given, before I even work out, we've been given that B, we've got this answer here, 31,182, which is similar to that, 54,673. But as you can see, this says 763. So we don't need to work them all out. We can look at the numbers they've given us. 54,763, well that's the same there, but it's different there, because it says 673. 19, this says 35,182, 35,182, and this says, that question there, 35,182. B is in going to be incorrect, because this number here, you will not get this answer from adding this number and that number together. So B, B is incorrect. And you can prove this by doing a calculation, by actually adding, but if you if you were to do these two numbers together, 35,182 plus 19,581, you will get this answer, not that answer. So you can prove yourself by answering those questions, by right? using a calculation. Now, I know that's a lot to take in, children, so if you want to, you can re-watch it, go back to your video, re-watch and answer the questions at certain points, and then re-watch the video again if you've, if you've gotten how to work that particular question out. Now, go to your task sheet and answer the questions. Best of luck.